Yeah, you. Yeah, you. You remember? Remember the trophy? This one? From the last episode, episode eight about the Bajo Quinto. Well, this is number nine. And I was telling you about this trophy that somebody got me, says my name, greatest at everything. And, and then it was like, not only does it say world's greatest, but it's Chick Flick Teal. There seemed to be some discrepancy in everybody's understanding about, I claimed that I was the Duck Duck Goose State Champion. There it is right there. I told you, Maury. I told you. Something else I'm going to tell you is you are fixing to see a miracle, a miracle straight out of the likes of this right here because the Bajo Quinto, we're going to pull all the clamps off of it and we're going to see what happens inside and then we're going to do, finally we're going to redo the bracing and this thing looks like like the one tooth person went to the uh, orthodontist. You, you see how politically correct I am? Yeah. Yeah, you learned it all right here. Anyway, you are not going to believe this. You never do, but you always do. So let's get to the workshop. Yeah, it's in Malibu. Um, yeah, this one is, you know, the set. The set. Because this is an old um, movie lighting van. Did you figure that out? That's what all those wooden things are up there anyway um i hear it's chilly in malibu so i better tie two sweaters around my neck before i go speaking of go let's go all right let's pick up where we left off which was we put some reinforcement panels down on the back of the guitar on the soundboard uh right behind where the brace is going to go in there let me pick this up just a tad and see if if that helps you at all maybe so anyway there's a brace that's going to go right here and we put reinforcement panels in here here and in the back of the guitar where we're also going to have to put a bridge plate now as part of this we had a lot of cracking going on, on the side because this side especially leaned out and broke away here and then when we started to put things back together right above the handmade kerfing we had a lot of breaks right here so we're going to pull off the spool clamps and see if everything took okay and these are handy rounded off nicely made spool can clamps can be pretty pricey but they're pretty simple piece of all thread screwed in some cork material again all thread cork material this one slides a washer and a wing nut and you're good to go now we had two of our usual clamps here and you'll remember that we used a wedged piece of wood that will give you the final tightening you need always have one of these around and then we have these clamps are killer the more I get into heavy body repair the more I appreciate clamps Maybe we just destroyed the guitar right there. I don't think so. Pieces of wood. Blocks of Quercus agrifol. You know what size tree it takes to produce blocks like that. And we might as well get this one off of here too. Ooh, that one wants to stick a little bit. We're going to get something to help us with that. But, here we go. That feels great. Now, that bridge or brace we're talking about is going to go right here. Bridge plate is going to be down in here somewhere. 
and then we're going to put some bracing along the sides here it looks like this come out all right yeah we're gonna have to brace it some more and then on the back where it connects you've got these little drop downs here for the back brace I think the way this is going to work out is because we've had some pieces break out here. I think we're just going to level this off. So there's some furring strips that was used to glue the back on. I think we're just going to flatten out to here and then come in with some kerfing, some regular kerfing here and build that up and see what we do with the brace but I'm pretty happy let's get to work on some bracing let's have a quick look at some materials in episode 2 link right up there right about now can you see that I hope so we took some big pieces some 16 foot long pieces of spruce now this is not luthier grade spruce but it is spruce it's got a few of these here and there uh, nothing significant we're not doing anything ornamental out of it we're just using spruce so we took that stuff and cut it down and ended up with a couple of bundles that I taped together so it doesn't warp out right away uh, these were for the bigger uh, braces going across here and then I cut these down for the braces that go on the bottom of the soundboard so we ended up with this kind of bracing and this kind of bracing and since I had 32 feet of this stuff I've got spruce wherever I want I will tell you you need to keep it bound together with weight on it and keep it flat so we all like tape measures and all that kind of thing but let me tell you something you want to get into a seamstress's box or sewing box and get one of these because it's very difficult to measure something if it's rigid so you just grab one of these and you put this in here you kind of figure out where it needs to be and this one is going to be that long right there then I can just lay it on the brace and of course I knew ahead of time that the bracing was going to be as wide as it is and it drops right in there so it's just a matter of tapering down and rounding off the top and let's get on some of that in addition we will be putting and I've already told you this bracing on the sides of the guitar so we don't have any more of that split out we're going to put one more time a bridge base in here or a bridge plate and I think we're going to use the same kind of wood to do those two ladder things all right the magic number here is 25 or 250 that's millimeters on the other side we have 9 and 47,380 something or other so I am going to get a square and well, what do you know there's one right here and it's kind of square right and I'm gonna go to the bandsaw and cut that off and then we will figure out how we're gonna taper down this edge just a little bit I think be right back okay check that out it's still pretty thick we're gonna round the top off a little bit but what do you know it drops right in there and we're going to do this where it doesn't have anything sitting directly on top of it like the last one and then what we're able to do here with this one now is you'll remember that we had the fan bracing that lined up with here and here and we'll be able to put those in but I'm gonna make a modification here where the bridge plate you'll see some Martin guitars one brace will go over another in kind of a pocket so we're gonna figure out how to do these and line these up they'll be a little bit beefier but those fan braces will go like so 
but we'll put those in after we put in the big bridge plate. A little bit more to do now. We want to remember that this part was sunk in just a little bit. So when I when I clamp this down, I'm going to put a piece of wood on top of this clamp that goes in the middle so it pushes this up just a tad and then that way the other two clamps will push down and it will suck up that low spot that's been a problem right here yeah right there okay so once you've got the bridge plate in and it's lined up with these pins here which are just toothpicks we drilled a hole in the top where the uh, mounting bolts were. It sits like this up on top. And we measured out the bridge plate so it is as big as um, the bridge and put holes in there. Now we're going to take these braces and what we're going to do is we're going to actually come over the top of the bridge plate with the brace and we don't want a gap underneath there so we're gonna line up those marks we made remember the marks and put it right in the middle there and right in the middle there like so and then we're gonna mark where that comes across the bridge plate like so and then we're gonna go to the bandsaw and take care of business between there and there. Perfect. And then we're going to take this fine saw that we have that doesn't have any teeth on the sides. And we're just going to level everything out. On these other ones, there's a slight angle to the cuts, but the center one, no. And then we're just going to go over that, not too much, and get anything out that is going to mess with us and then line that up and line that up and you can see that that straddles that nice and tight so when we glue all this down let's do this right when we glue all of this down it's going to pull everything up tight and be good two more to do okay let's take a look at what we've got going on here it will reveal itself along the way we've got a piece of spruce here that will be used underneath these clamps and you'll see that a little bit later we have a piece of maple that is as wide and a little wider than the bridge now this bridge was pulling up it actually goes upside down like this you'll notice that there were some holes there pay attention to those those will be line up or pilot holes that will come in very handy as I said we took some spruce we carved it down cut it down into two different sizes which is this size and this size the bigger size became the brace you see right here. The smaller size became this fan bracing that you see here. We cut a piece of wood that the bridge plate will line up with and it's going to glue right to this fill that we used. These reinforcement panels which are 16th inch mahogany glued right to the soundboard bottom of the soundboard that we uh, leveled out uh, there's just a little bit to come back up right in here it's a little bit low right in here and that clamping will take care of that now we use the drill once we have everything lined up drilled through here and here to give us those pilot pins right there we tape that down then we use the marks that we had 
marked here and here on the side of the body and cut each of these braces and cut them to the angle where they matched up to this brace some of them straight some of them angled and then tapered them off and rounded them off then we marked them for the thickness of the bridge plate and cut out the appropriate part let's take a look at that over at the bandsaw okay we've got a piece of maple that's the same thickness as the bridge plate so what we're going to do is we're just going to lay this like so and put the brace up against it and then draw a line right there you see that now what we're going to do is we are going to take and cut this way and this way to the top of that line and then we're going to nibble out a section that lets us put the blade in here and then we'll cut this section out and then we'll be able to file it so here we go Right then finally with the same piece of maple grain running this way um, you measure the side here we're going to cut some braces here you want to remember that the curving goes up and down a little bit but this will seem to work right here and we'll go down and cut a few of those and your belt sander and of course your bandsaw work out real good cutting this blurry thing that you can't see so now that we've got everything mocked up we are going to heat up some hide glue and put all of this together and I will show it to you at the end all right guys everything is clamped down we've got the brace going across we've got that clamping call that we made uh, to put the support panels in is come into use again all of the fan bracing is in and the bridge plate is in so we're just going to wait for this all to glue up and come together and then we'll make some final determinations about where these braces are going to go along the sides there at what interval and then it'll be time to think about cutting this down and getting everything level pulling that side in a little bit again that'll matter with these braces here and bumping the camera but once that's done then it'll be time to figure out set the neck angle get rid of this and think about putting it back on it so thank god for clamps okay what'd you think of that it's not that hard really um i have been told that if you want to learn how to build a guitar that you go to a somebody like stumac because they will sell you uh what is basically a build it yourself martin kit you end up with a really good guitar but through that process you learn about things called curfing bracing back tail block other stuff that i don't even know what it is anyway you learn how to put something together 
us po boys, we just go get a Harmony or a K from a yard sale and look, it's still got the sticker on it and break it apart and kind of discover this kind of thing on our own. No, in all seriousness, I was happy when I first got this guitar because when I opened it up, I could see that there were remnants of memories or heritage or influence or whatever you want to call it of Antonio de Torres. That fan bracing pattern goes back to something I talked about in one of the episodes. Maybe it was episode two. I don't know. Hit the playlist. We are getting closer and closer. When we pull the clamps off of this one and get a little bit more work done on the sides, we are going to put the side braces in and make sure everything is brought back together because we always have that issue about if the neck and back come together, it's not going to be right. And this one has to be right because it has such heavy strings and the pull, I think that um, bridge plate is going to do a lot for us. Anyway, babbling on and on, let's just give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, this thing's fixing to turn into something I can tell. You should see the stuff I got to junk piled up. You know I'm going to junk piled up. I haven't done that in a while, but this one's going to be junk piled up. Believe me, I got matchbooks you will not believe. See ya!